Hello everyone, greetings to all. In this video we are going to see about the important 15 MCQ questions in the topic of soil mechanics with some explanations. Now we will see the first question. The ratio of volume of voids to the volume of soil solids in a given soil mass is known. And the question will be given, there are 4 options are given. Option A porosity, Option B specific gravity, Option C void ratio, Option D water content. So they asked what is the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of soil solids. So the answer is option C that is void ratio. So E equal to volume of voids to the volume of soil solids. So the porosity is nothing but it is the volume of voids to the total volume. So you have it is nothing but it is ratio of density of solids to the density of water. Water content is nothing but it is the ratio of mass of water to mass of soil solids or weight of water to the weight of soil solids so in this question the correct answer is the white ratio so white ratio is nothing but the volume of voids to the volume of soil solids so white ratio and porosity have no units and also specific gravity also have no units now, now we will move to the next question the second pressure of a soil mass is proportional to where pi is the angle of the friction of the soil so they will given the active earth pressure please remember active earth pressure active earth pressure is always proportional to tan square 45 degree minus pi by 2 so option c, c is the correct one so if they given passive earth pressure means the tan square 45 plus pi by 2 is the correct answer so but in this case they will given the active earth pressure so option c is the correct one if passive earth pressure means option b is the correct one so don't confuse with it please remember any one either active or passive so please remember active earth pressure of the soil is proportional to tan square 45 minus pi by 2 now we will move to the next question the minimum water content at which the soil just began to crumble when rolled into threads 3 mm diameter is known. What? They will give the definitions and also they will give the 4 options. Liquid limit, plastic limit, shrinkage limit and permeability limit. Please remember, it's crumbled to when rolled into threads 3 mm diameter is known as the correct answer is the plastic limit so option b is the correct answer so plastic limit is nothing but the minimum water content at which the soil just began to crumble when rolled into a 3 mm diameter is known as plastic limit so liquid limit is nothing but it is a minimum water content of soil and it is in a liquid state and which possesses some small shearing strength so this is known as liquid limit so when compared to shrinkage limit is nothing but it is the uh, small water content of a soil and in this state all the pores of the soil to be filled and the soil become a saturated one. In a shrinkage limit there is no volume changes will occur. So in this question option B is the correct answer. Now we will move to the next question. The lateral earth pressure of a on a retaining wall they will given the lateral lateral earth pressure on a retaining wall and also they will given the five options option a is equal to mass of the soil retained option b is proportional to the depth of the soil option c proportional to the square root of the depth of the soil option d proportional to the internal friction of the soil option e none of these so the lateral earth pressure or the earth pressure is always proportional to the cohesion. Cohesion is nothing but the internal friction of the soil. So in this case, option D is the correct answer. The lateral earth pressure on a retaining wall is always proportional to the internal friction of the soil. Now we will move to the next question. The internal molecular attraction of a soil, the cohesion, they will given the question and also they will given the four options. Decreases as the moisture content increases. Option B increases as the moisture content decreases. 
option c is more in well compacted clays option d it depends upon the external applied load so internal molecular attraction is nothing but it is the cohesion so cohesion is defined as the internal molecular attraction of the soil so when you take in the clay the well compacted clay always have more cohesion that is more internal attraction of the soil so in this question option c is the correct one the internal molecular attraction of a soil the cohesion is more in well compacted clays now we will move to the next question the quantity of seepage of water through soil is proportional to option a coefficient of permeability of soil option b total head loss through the soil option c neither a nor b option d both a and b the quantity of seepage of water is water of the soil is always proportional to the coefficient of permeability of soil k and total head loss through the soil h so in this case option d is the correct one so the quantity of seepage of water through soil is proportional to coefficient of permeability and the total head loss through the soil now we will move to the next question when drainage is permitted under initially applied normal stress only and fully primary consolidation is allowed to take place the test is known as please remember initially normal applied stress only and fully primary consolidation is allowed to take place so this test is known as consolidated undrained test so option c is the correct one so consolidated undrained test is nothing but when drainage is permitted under initially applied normal stress only and fully primary consolidation is allowed to take place now we will move to the next question the minimum water content at which the soil retain its liquid state and also possesses a small shearing strength against flowing is known as in previous year questions i also told about this so in this case the answer is option a liquid limit in liquid limit only they possesses some small shearing strength please remember remember the keyword in liquid limit only they possesses a small shearing strength so plastic limit in the sense it crumble to rolled into a 3 mm diameter so shrinkage limit nothing but it filled the pores of the soil and the soil will become the saturated so the minimum water content at which the soil retain its liquid state and also possesses a small shearing strength against flowing is known as a liquid limit now we will move to the next question minimum size of the particle of a silt soil so minimum size of the filter size of the particles of a silt soil is 0.002 mm please remember minimum size of the particle of a silt soil is 0.002 mm now we will move to the next question the maximum value of effective stress in the past divided by the present value is defined as the over consolidation ratio ocr the ocr of an consolidated clay is they ask what is the ocr of the over consolidated clay so over consolidated clay having ocr always more than 1 so option c is the correct one and also the ocr is nothing but the maximum value of effective stress in the past divided by the present value is defined as the over consolidation ratio the over ocr is always more than 1 for over consolidated clay now we will move to the next question if nf nh nd and h are the total flow channels total number of potential drops and total hydraulic head differences respectively the discharge q through the soil the complete flow is given by where k is the constant and they will ask what is the discharge q so they will given the nf nd h and also they ask what is the discharge so discharge q is nothing but k h into n f divided by n d so option c is the correct one so where k is the coefficient coefficient of permeability and h is the total hydraulic head nf is the 
number of flow channels and nd is the total number of potential drop this is very important formula q equal to kh into nf divided by nd now we'll move to the next question a flow line makes angles theta 1 theta 2 with normal interface of the soil having permeabilities k1 k2 before and after deflection according to the law of deflection of flow lines the interference of the dissimilar soils they ask what is the interference of the dissimilar soils according to the law of deflection so the answer is option c tan theta 1 divided by theta 2 equal to k1 divided by k2 please remember theta 1 divided by theta 2 equal to k1 divided by k2 according to the law of deflection of flow lines and now we will move to the next question under rimmed piles are generally they asked what is the under rimmed piles either driven pile or bored pile or precast pile or all the above please remember always under rimmed piles are bored piles so option c is the correct one now we will move to the next question pick up the clay soil group which does not swell when wet from the following the clay soil group which does not swell when wet from the following they will given the four groups calonite group mite group vermicult group montelinite group so please remember does not swell when wet from the following does not swell and wet when wet the answer is mite group so the mite soil group only does not swell during wet condition so option b is the correct one now we will move to the next question the factor of safety against sliding of a slope is the ratio of they asked what is the factor of safety factor of safety is nothing but it is the ratio of shear strength to shear stress along the surface and also it is the actual cohesion that required to the maintain the stability of slope so option a and b is the answer for factor of safety so in this case the correct answer is both a and b option d is the correct one so factor of safety is nothing but it is the actual cohesion or the internal molecular attraction of the soil to that required to maintain the stability of a slope and also it is the ratio of shear strength to shear stress along the surface so option d is the correct one thanks for watching this video i think this may be useful to you please subscribe our channel for more videos have a nice day thank you